Okay, let's take a look at nested tables. This is nowhere near as complicated as it sounds. We'll just go ahead and jump in. If we create a table, let's say we'll call it fruits, within that table we can put other tables. We could say apple, for example, equals, and then within our curly braces we could say, for example, red. Actually, let's go ahead and create an associative array. So color equals red, type equals we'll say Macintosh and we'll say price equals 50 cents. In this case we're going to store the price as a string. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this so that I can make a couple more elements. That's the quickest way to do it. So we'll say orange, color equals orange, type equals navel, price equals 80 cents, and then we're going to change our third element here price equals 90 cents, type equals Bosch, color equals green, and we will change that table name to pair. Okay, so you can see what we've done here is we've created one main table called fruits, and within it we've created three smaller tables called apple, orange, and pear. And each of those tables contains certain uh, descriptors for the respective fruit that it's named after. So let's go ahead and test this out. Now I'm going to set up a dialog message box and I'm going to go ahead and leave the title blank as usual. And we're just going to go ahead and access one of these elements. Actually, let's go ahead for a change and put in a title. We'll say pear color is and then we're going to go ahead and access the color of the pear. And we're going to do this with dot notation because it's very simple. In this case, all we have to do is say fruits, which refers to the main table, dot pear which refers to the secondary table we wish to access, and then color, which is the element we wish to access. So let's go ahead and press F5 to preview that. And you'll see it tells us pear color is green. So that's a pretty simple concept. I hope everybody sort of can understand that at a glance because it's, it's really a lot easier to use than it seems. But basically you can store tables inside of tables and it's a very handy way to store data because you can get your tab uh, basically your tables to reflect uh, whatever type of complex data your pr your projects need, and also you can get your data to go as many layers deep as you need if you like, and that makes it really handy. In other words, you can you can do a lot with just one table rather than having to spread your data out over a series of tables. So I I enjoy using nested tables in my projects, and I use them quite often. Let's try one more example here. We'll see orange type is and then we're going to go ahead and set up our value here. I'll do it from scratch just for review. So we'll refer to the main table fruits then we'll refer to our secondary table orange and then we'll refer to the element we wish to retrieve type. We'll go ahead and press F5 to preview and here we go orange type is navel. Okay, so that's nested tables, and I hope that clears it up for everyone, and we'll go ahead to the next lesson now.